Hi everyone, welcome back to Silicon Valley Indicators. I'm Rachel Massaro with the Silicon Valley Institute for Regional Studies, and today's topic is poverty, or actually, we'll be talking more about self-sufficiency. Now, normally when people talk about poverty status, they're speaking in relation to the Federal Poverty Guideline. But the Federal Poverty Guideline was created more than 50 years ago, and it was based on some assumptions that just don't hold true anymore. For instance, it's based on this idea that in a family household, the man works and the woman stays at home. And we know that's just not the case for many of our families. Also, it's based on this idea that the cost of living is the same no matter where you live throughout the country. And particularly here in Silicon Valley, we know that that isn't the case. Lastly, it's based on this idea that one third of a household's income goes to food and two thirds go to everything else. But with the rising cost of healthcare, transportation, childcare, etc., that doesn't hold true anymore either. So we need a better measure. There have been several created, but one that I think is particularly useful is called the self-sufficiency standard, and it bases the cost of living on where you live as well as your family composition, as in, are you a single adult or do you live in a two adult household with kids? How old are those kids? It's all taken into consideration to determine whether or not your household is self-sufficient. Now, if we look at Silicon Valley, arguably one of the wealthiest places in the country, you'll find that actually, surprisingly, nearly one third of our households are not self-sufficient. That means they rely on public or private informal assistance in order to get by. And that share rises to 59% for households headed by a Hispanic or Latino householder. So the next question is, how much do you need to make in Silicon Valley in order to be self-sufficient? And the answer is that, like I said, it varies by your family composition. But for instance, for a single adult, you need to be making between $15 and $18 an hour in order to be self-sufficient. For a two adult household with two school-aged children, they need to be making between $17 and $21 an hour in order to be self-sufficient. And if you take it to the farthest extreme, which is a single parent with a young child under age five, they need to be making between $29 and $34 per hour in order to be self-sufficient in Silicon Valley. Now there's so much we could be talking about in terms of income, income trends, and self-sufficiency in Silicon Valley. It's more than we can talk about in one video. So join us next time when I'll talk about the minimum wage.